It is believed that GPT-4, the artificial intelligence created by OpenAI, is more intelligent than 99.99% of all humans. It scores between 150 and 155 in IQ tests. Besides higher intelligence, AI also has other advantages over humans. The first is stamina. Human beings cannot focus on the same task for more than a few hours before they get tired, bored or distracted. AI, on the other hand, can do the same job with zero decrease in efficiency for days, weeks or even months without getting tired, bored or distracted. They also come with a varied range of skills and knowledge that no single human being can match. For example, GPT-4 has easily passed various professional exams such as the bar exam, an engineering exam, medical exams, creative writing exams and even a plastic surgery exam. Now, imagine a robot that comes with GPT-4 built in. Not only will the robot be able to do all the above jobs, but it can do them in a much faster and more reliable fashion than any human. These robots can also be used in the government sector as soldiers and policemen due to their superior detection capabilities and speed. While human beings are restricted to sound and sight for information, these robot soldiers can use an array of sensors such as those for microwave and heat signatures to quickly locate and eliminate the human targets. It is believed that several countries such as China and the US are building such soldiers right now. While military development of such robots are shrouded in secrecy, the first proof of concept of such AI-powered robots has already been done. This was demonstrated by Figure, a robot development company founded by 37-year-old American tech entrepreneur Brett Adcock. In a video posted on Wednesday, the company showed a robot interacting with a human being in a remarkably natural way. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great, so based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. Going by current trends, affordably priced robo workers with capabilities far superior to human beings are likely to start making an appearance in another two or three years and possibly even earlier than that in the military field.